390 Wagon Master here with another unboxing video. So, uh, <clears throat> this sucker came uh, uh, via FedEx this morning. So, we're going to open up and see what we've got here. This is from uh, DX Engineering, as you can obviously see. So, let's see what we can do here. All right. All right, first off we have decals. Usually I'm excited about decals, whatever. Um, our receipt, this is a 125 feet of DX Engineering, uh, model number 400 Max, apparently. It's DXE 400 Max, 125. It was $174.49 after 7.25% uh, sales tax in Utah. Uh, that came to $187.14. I'll give DX Engineering this, man. They always pack uh, their product for maximum protection. That's kind of an uptown package, actually. All right. Silver saver, threaded with corrosion inhibitor, some kind. All right. So this is pretty cold as it's been out on the front porch for a while, but um, not too flexible, but it's not licorice cable either. Um, I think that was the deal. I wanted to, I was looking at, uh, I think it was LMR 400. That's pretty spendy stuff. And they have a solid center conductor and this is uh, stranded and I'm not going to really know until I break it open. I ordered a little bit extra so um, I can have a little bit of extra coax for patch cords if necessary. I'm not really a fan of reeling up a big spool underneath my bench, but there you go. Anyway, that's pretty, pretty stout stuff. This is direct berry apparently. They do not state that it was made in America or if it was. This being a bulk manufacturer for these guys, I'm not really sure. They don't say either way, actually, if it's made in America or overseas. Not that I saw, anyway. So the model number or the part number, or whatever, the number of the coax is DXE400 Max Type 3. And it's UV resistant and direct burial. And I think that was the biggest biggest reason why I bought this particular coax and overall not really a bad deal comparatively speaking in today's just crazy pricing um, not really sure what the yellow piece is what is this okay and this just has their contact information and model number on their DXC 400 125 foot yeah that's pretty custom so I ordered this on Sunday night and I had a credit card issue because uh, there was one letter uh, off in my address, in my mailing address. Instead of an S, there was a D in there and uh, my credit card wouldn't go through. So I called first thing Monday morning and um, took care of that. And uh, yeah, here it is Friday morning right here so that's pretty damn impressive boys pretty impressive so anyway uh, yeah if you're looking for coax maybe this uh, DX engineering may be an option for you folks I'm not really sure but anyway it worked out for me um, I found cheaper coaxes on the internet uh, but a lot of it was overseas product and um, didn't really have the price point this these guys 
you know, there's these ends. I figured I'd order it with ends on because I've never played with these ends before. Never been exposed to these. These are, I guess, the new style of connector. I'm used to the old school Amphenol type connector, PL259s, but um, yeah, I don't have a crimp tool and all of that, so I just opted. I, I'm, I'm not really sure how much extra it was. I'm, I'm going to say maybe, I don't know, $14, $15 extra for the ends. So, you know, not bad. I'm kind of lazier in my old age. And um, this is this is the uh, moisture resistant uh, slash waterproof heat shrink. You can see the glue in here just starting to come out. So yeah, this is gonna be pretty nice. All right, there we go. Uh, I'll leave a link to this down below so you guys can check it out on the interwebs. All right, thanks for watching.